Hey, it's Noah from Skillnet. We learn about important life skills everyone should have. Let's talk about keeping the floor in your home clean. Most people use a vacuum cleaner. There are many different kinds of vacuum cleaners, but they are made to do one important job. Suck up dirt! So let's grab the vacuum cleaner and get to work. First, take the vacuum cleaner out. This is where I keep my vacuum. Next, unravel the cord and plug it into the outlet, like this. Push the foot pedal to release the vacuum from the standing position. Now turn the vacuum on. Start vacuuming at one corner of the room and walk straight. You can walk backwards too. Make straight lines until you have vacuumed the entire room. You may have to move stuff around to vacuum the carpet. You don't want to just push the vacuum around like this. You won't know what parts of the carpet you vacuum and you might have to vacuum the whole room all over again. After you have finished vacuuming the room, look around to make sure you did the entire area. Let's talk about vacuum cleaner accessories. Many vacuums have handy attachments so you can clean corners, stairs, or hard to reach areas. If the canister is full, you will need to empty it into the trash can. Detach the canister and bring it to the trash can. Put it over the trash can and push the button to open the canister. Be careful not to breathe all the dust in. Yuck! You should wear a mask if you are sensitive to dust. Reattach the canister to the vacuum cleaner. Now that you are finished, you can unplug the vacuum and roll up the cord. Don't forget to put the vacuum away. Look, I'm finished! That was easy. Pro tips! Let's talk about taking care of your vacuum cleaner along with some important safety tips. Most vacuum cleaners also come with an instruction manual that will tell you how to take care of your vacuum. Look at my vacuum cleaner. It breathes in air to pick up dirt and puts it into a closed canister, like this. My vacuum has a brush that spins very fast to suck up dirt. But be careful, you don't want to put your fingers in there. Remember, not to go too far or the cord will come out of the outlet and the vacuum will stop. Don't pull on the cord because you can damage it or even hurt yourself. If you want to go somewhere else, simply unplug the cord and find another outlet to plug into it. Safety first! The vacuum cleaner cannot pick up certain things like rubber bands, large objects, string, rocks, and so on. It is better to pick these objects up when your hand and throw them away. Don't get too close to toys, curtains, towels, or clothing because the vacuum may try to suck them up. Sometimes the vacuum cleaner can get clogged and will stop sucking up dirt. I can see my vacuum is working because the air is spinning around in a canister. You should check the vacuum filter at least once a month to make sure it is not dirty. Ask your mom or dad what the filter is and how to clean it. By the way, did you know many vacuum cleaners can suck up dirt from the non-carpet areas? Most vacuum cleaners cannot suck up water or other liquids. You can damage the vacuum. There are special vacuum cleaners that are very powerful and can suck up large objects in even water. These are usually called shop vacs and are used in a garage or special shops. I can even use my shop vac to blow air like this. And lastly, the vacuum cleaner is usually just for inside the house. I don't recommend taking it outside. Vacuum cleaners can be expensive if you don't want to damage it. 
Well, there you go. Now you know how to use a vacuum cleaner. Good for you. Hmm, looks like I need to vacuum my room. Until next time, stay cool, be kind, and keep skilling it. Hey, who's using my vacuum? Turn that off, I'm filming.